welcome into WCSN's continuing coverage of ASU softball. I'm Elaine Wilson here with WCSN beat writers Tyler Strachan and Bobby Krause to have a discussion roundtable about the ASU softball season so far. We're going to start with Tyler here talking about Dale Rindak and Brianna Maha, these freshman pitchers coming in, pitching most of the games for ASU. Do you think they can take them all the way? Well, I think it's a lot to ask, first of all, for two freshman pitchers to make a title run. But, you know, they have really impressed me. Brianna Maha is actually third in the Pac-12 in strikeouts and Dale Rindek isn't that too far behind her in terms of development but you know they're getting better each and every day so it, it is a lot to ask but you know the sky's the limit for these two and that's exa absolutely right Brianna Maha this year has already thrown an eight inning no hitter which she threw on her birthday doesn't get much better than that yeah. and Dallas Escobedo her freshman year she didn't start off great but she went on to carry the team to Oklahoma City and get them their second uh, national championship since 2008 so they this team has proved that freshman pitchers can do it Winning. but it's like, a lot yeah. to ask of two freshmen when coach Nicholson isn't really going to anyone else out of the bullpen Dale and Brianna have thrown 225 out of 241 innings so they're gonna be asked to shoulder a lot of the load yeah, definitely. Now they had a series in Tucson against U of A. They took that series two to one early. They dropped it in the last game, um, and then they jumped in the rankings from 21st to number 10 in the nation. Uh, do you see them keeping on that track, keeping on climbing those uh, poles? I think that they will if they keep winning. They've gotten the two series wins so far against Cal and against uh, University of Arizona. To me, the rankings don't really mean much because when the end of the season comes, we all know that this team is going to be in the tournament. It's about who's hot at the time. And if Brianna Maha and Dale Rindak, Amber Freeman, Chelsea Gonzalez, if they're all clicking, this team has whatever it takes to make a national championship run. So I don't really think that rankings are going to play into it. It only determines where you're going to be seated in the tournament. But I don't think rankings are that big of a deal. Well, Bobby, I think you're absolutely right when you say that it's a game of who's hot, who's not when mm -hmm. it gets to tournament time. But yeah, I mean, it, they've got the two freshman pitchers. The offense is absolutely incredible. So they beat two, they've taken a, the series from two top 15 teams in Stanford and Cal. Cal, they could have swept them, only lost the game by one run. So things are looking up for this team. And yeah, I think if they keep on producing and the pitchers keep on performing, they will continue to climb the rankings. Now, today, some more recent news. Actually, we were watching it right before we came here. Uh, Amber Freeman went 11th overall in the UFP draft, uh, first in the third round. Do you think that she was drafted kind of where uh, most people expected her to be, or should she have gone higher or lower? Well, for on a, a talent basis, she probably should have gone higher, but I think there's a little bit of concern with her knees, maybe, yeah, possibly, absolutely. that she can't play catcher anymore. Yeah. But she went to a team, the USSA, USSA Pride, yes. and that's a team that just traded their star catcher, Kristen Sandberg. So if she can pull it off and play catcher, I think this is a great fit for her. And absolutely, she really does bring a lot to the lineup when she's a designated player, but she's also just a terrific catcher. She yeah. handles the running game really well. She handles the pitching staff really well. If she's able to play catcher and be at her full potential, the sky's the limit for her. And obviously she's showing that here as she's on her way to a probably a third straight All-American selection. All right, well, thank you guys so much for your insight on ASU softball. If you want to check out their work, it's on cronkitesports.com. Thanks for tuning in.